when I joined Hoylton, me and Marvin sat down and talked, but although we were talking, things were still be being put into motion. And within a month of being in Hoylton, like I, I had already had my own place, but he was helping me with rent, he was helping me furnish it, like, actions speak a lot louder than words, and he really did that. <laughs> They, anything I want, honestly, they help me with. I, it's pretty nice. I pretty much snap my fingers in what I want. It, they help me get it done. But from previous foster homes, I always feel like, like if I do something wrong, I'm in trouble. Like something, something's gonna happen. Like just crazy. And they've helped me like work past that. And when I got pregnant with my son, I thought like my life was over. Like what am I going to do? And they, these people were so I mean like they were excited but they knew I was gonna be a good mom they knew I was capable of doing it and none of them like stopped telling me I could do it and I was capable like I was just worried like statistically speaking he should be a foster kid like everyone in my mom's side of the family's in foster care my siblings are in foster care and statistics show that he should be a foster kid so it's just nice knowing that I have people that actually care about me and like they're rooting for me like they really are my biggest cheerleaders. Every single month we sit down and we talk about my goals and it's always at the start of the month but my goals may have completely changed from the last month that we talked and that's okay like if my plans have changed like right before I had crew I was going back to school and I did all the paperwork for it put it all in and then I was having crew right when school would have started so it wasn't ideal but then I started again and it was perfectly fine. Like my goals have changed a lot over the past year, especially having crew, but no matter what I want, as long as it as long as it's reasonable and you know beneficial to me and everything, they are always on board no matter what it is. The best thing for me in that time because I I needed that help. But they will always be like your biggest advocate and if you don't feel safe or you just need someone to talk to, they are there. Like I, I can call my social workers at any time of the day, even if they're not on call and they will still answer.